Hi, welcome back. Um, today I'd like to do a small video on eggs, basically. Just a few things what I've done over the years with my eggs and different things that seem to work alright for me. And um, one of the first things I do um, is some of the tools I use. This is just a small LED torch, um, nothing special. But what we use this for, I use this for checking egg fertility. And as you can see, this one with a cross on is clear. So rather than keep lifting them up to the light and taking them under the nests and putting them outside or anything like that, I can just quickly run along the, the nest boxes and check which is fertile and which isn't. So that would be a clear egg. Um, these two I've just took up. And as you can see, these ones are fertile. You can see the embryo development in there. These would be three years old. There's another one, fertile egg. So at three days you can tell straight away so what I would do is this is a Bacara trump rig that was clear and what I do is I, I always write on them in pencil and I just use normal these ones from Ikea you get these three here and I write the name on the egg the date it was laid and then what I do is I've got these cards just normal envelope size cards but these are just all prize cards and what would happen is I'd write on here black model 14th of the 4th and then that would be pinned with these eggs to the feeder section and then what would happen is you come back and then I could check on the eggs now sometimes when we're checking on eggs or if we're not checking on eggs this here if I've for dummy eggs or when the feeders is first laid what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll put a cross on the first egg of the feeder and then I'll know that when I go down two days later if there's two eggs there where that can swap eggs over and then I know how long the feeder eggs has been laid I usually do date them from time to time but not all the time every now and then every now and then we get a few eggs that are dinted and I deliberately broke this one just to show you now, Here's a little trick what I've learned over the years. Now, I used to put sellotape on them and we used to put different types of things. Not everything seemed to work, but what I did find that worked very well was using a scraper at first for a few years and then I upgraded it to one of these knives. And basically what we do is, here's a little tip. It doesn't always work, but you might have to have a few attempts. But what we do is we cut the egg and then we get a bit of extra shell and then what we do is we put a bit of extra shell over the top of the egg and then what will happen is you leave that to dry for a few minutes and that will protect the egg the egg will still be able to breathe and I've successfully hatched many many eggs like this so these are just some of the things that we've learned over the years, just a, nothing spectacular, probably most people know these, but some of the little tricks that we do with eggs to keep us one step out of the game. Hope you like this, if so, please like, share, and most importantly, please subscribe. Thank you very much and look forward to the next one.